my initial injury with my back, um, it could have happened at a couple different points. It wasn't until uh, moving out here to Utah, I was skiing and I took a really, really bad fall. And uh, I tried to get up and I noticed that my left leg was in excruciating pain. Uh, I went to a sports uh, doctor and they did some tests on me and noticed there was some nerve damage. So I was, I went in for emergency surgery with uh, one of the top surgeons for back surgeries here in Utah. The following season I was able to ski uh, without any issues, but then preparing to ski uh, the next season, uh, it popped again. I went back to see uh, the doctor and they said, we're really sorry, but 3% uh, of our patients have this problem where it's, it, it happened again and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, we'll get you a cortisone shot um, for the pain and uh, we'll schedule you for fusion surgery. To go from people high-fiving me and telling me I was going to be fine and even skiing to having it go back exactly where I was, if not worse, was soul crushing. It was, it was awful. I went back to the office and I just burst into tears. I, I couldn't, it was just, it was too much to, to think that you were out of the woods and oh no, actually you're, you're done. I was 38 years old, and they're telling me I'm never gonna ski again for the rest of my life. Uh, I've heard too many horror stories uh, about fusion surgeries that, you know, I just kinda like was in shock that my life was not over, but I mean, the parts that I really enjoyed were over. I talked to a friend of mine uh, who I worked with uh, at a previous job, and she had some problems with her shoulder and she went and saw a doctor in Park City, as had another guy that I worked with who had problems with his knees, and they both sweared by this guy. So I was willing to, to entertain an alternative to fusion, and uh, I called up Dr. Adelson's office, uh, did a, a consultation uh, with a recent MRI, and <clears throat> I'll never forget uh, my first conversation with him because I mean, I could tell that this is somebody that, that's been around the block when it comes to these kinds of things and has talked to a lot of people. But when I showed him my MRI and I explained what was happening to me and what I was up against, uh, there was a, a sense of calm on his face. Uh, he just told me that he could fix me. I can remember one day uh, I was asleep and I could hear one of my children crying out like they were in pain or something. And this is like maybe three or four months after the, the surgery. And I jumped out of bed and to see what was the matter. And when I jumped up out of bed, I felt nothing. And uh, that was a very peculiar sensation because if I had done that prior to these surgeries, I'd be on the ground, you know, writhing in agony. I was on a ski lift this last season and it turns out I was sitting next to an orthopedic surgeon. And I told them my story while on the lift. It's Sundance, it's a slow lift. <laughs> and he looked at me and basically said, well, that's impossible. There's no way that he could have fixed you. And there's no way that if, if uh, your orthopedic surgeon said that you need a fusion that you could that, that any of this is possible. And I, I literally have never been so upset because the proof was literally staring him in the face. We were on a ski lift <laughs> at Sundance on the back mountain, which is, you know, if anyone has ever skied there, it's a non-trivial place to ski. So now I'm three years past the surgery. I skied 63 days last season. I skied 60 something days this, this, the previous season. Um, and I'm fine. <laughs>